Good morning, everybody, or rather, good afternoon, everybody. This is another quick episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut, and I'm going to get right into it. So I just got a notification on my phone that the Bulls are finalizing a deal to bring DeMar DeRozan to the Bulls. Oh, I did not see this coming. I mean, I, saw, I heard rumors, obviously. But last year, when Lonzo Ball was rumored to go to the Bulls or, or whatever, you, you know, a few months ago, I, I was like, okay, well, it's just going to be him, Levine, and Vooch, just the big. I didn't know that Zach Le that, that DeRozan was even in the works. And now I'm seeing it there. They're getting close to it. Bruh, what is happening right now? What is happening right now? Did the Bulls just win the championship? Did the Bulls just win the Eastern Conference Championship? Somebody let me know in the comments. Did the Bulls just win the Eastern Conference Championship? Oh my goodness. Like, dude, this is it. This is it. We wanted Lonzo Ball in the playoffs. We wanted Lonzo Ball to have the ball in his hand so he could reach his potential. We wanted the world we wanted him to be in a big market so the world could see uh what you know what he what he could do. And we wanted um we wanted we wanted him to get out of that that trash organization, the New Orleans Pelicans. It's all happening. It's all happening. DeMar DeRozan, really? Now, the only thing I have about DeMar DeRozan is the only thing I have about DeMar DeRozan is that he's essentially if we're being honest, 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 he's essentially Zach Levine without a three point shot. But that's all right. That's okay. Because it's DeMar DeRozan. And in the NBA, you have to go after talent. This is guy, I know he didn't get the championship in Toronto. But this is a guy, along with Kyle Larry, who led the Raptors to their best record in franchise history. He's a, he's a good player. And oh, if the Bulls add that to... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm ready for next season already. Like, I was going to watch some football. I was hyped about, you know, to see what Matthew Stafford was going to do in, in, with the Los Angeles Rams. But we need to kind of, like, fast forward that so we can get back to some basketball. I'm ready to see Zoe. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a quick episode. Let me know how y'all feel about that. If y'all, you know, I know y'all tapped in just like I am. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Um... Man, it's really shaping up. I think we really might see Lonzo Ball completely unleashed. Like, I, ah, and, and, and I got to say shout out. I got to say shout out to Dave James because if you, if you don't already follow Dave James, go find his YouTube channel and follow him. This dude, was uh, he was tapped in from the beginning. He said that Lonzo Ball was going to be a bull. So we got it. We got it. We got to give him his due. Give him his time to give him his due. He said it. And uh, and he said it was going to be a success. You know, uh, I didn't originally like him. I, I understood it because of the way the Bulls play and the way they and the, and the fact that they really wanted Lonzo Ball. So I understood it. But I didn't. It wasn't my favorite move. I was more like the Knicks or the, the Lakers, possibly. Or, the you know, I'm a Celtics fan. So I'm, he's always welcome in Beantown. But we got to give Dave James his props. Uh, he, he said that Lonzo would be a Bull and he said it would be. Um, he said it would be successful over there. So, and it's looking like they're really working to make that a thing. I, I'm loving, I'm starting to really love the Chicago Bulls front office. Uh, oh my gosh. So, like I said, this ain't a long video. I just wanted to let y'all know uh, that I got the update. And uh, it's, it's exciting stuff. It's an exciting time to be a Lonzo Ball fan. Exciting time to be a Chicago Bulls fan. And exciting time to be a fan uh, fundamental, smart, exciting basketball because that's what Lonzo Ball is going to bring to the Bulls. So, uh, this is another episode of Intellectual Giannis. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments. Did the Bulls just win the East? <laughs>